Welcome back class 10. Continuing with your physical education class, safety in sports. Today we will start off with low back pain. Low back pain refers to any pain or discomfort experienced in the bottom region of the spine which is known as the lumbar spine. So the lumbar spine you will feel a pain. This region supports most of the upper body's weight. It usually resolves on its own and is commonly the result of a strain injury. What are the causes? Extreme physical exertion, twisting the trunk, improper bending, crouching repeatedly. Crouching means sitting like this hunched back and falling manual material handling that means you are picking up heavy load and carrying it to one place especially lifting heavy objects lifting the objects without proper technique if you don't lift object with the proper technique chances are that you will injure your lower back what are the symptoms back pain may be worse with bending lifting stretching coughing or sneezing long sitting worsens the pain Pain in the buttocks and the legs, often in the back of the thigh. Pain that makes it impossible to walk or move more than a few steps. Pain also interferes with sleep. Pain comes and goes, but it worsens. It becomes worse over time. Loss of bowel or bladder control and weakness in leg. What is the first aid? Pricer. Protection, rest, ice application, compression, elevation and referral. Now comes hip bursitis. Bursa is a fluid filled sac that functions as a gliding surface to reduce friction between the moving tissues of the body. So what is bursa? Bursa is a fluid filled a sac means like a, a little sac filled with fluid liquid a little bag you know sac is like a little bag which functions as a gliding surface to reduce friction when two surfaces glide that liquid reduces the friction between the moving tissues of the body the major barse barse are located adjacent near to the tendons near the large joints as shoulders, elbows, hips and knees. When a bursa becomes inflamed, that means swelled up, the condition is known as bursitis. Bursitis of hip is the most common cause of hip pain. Hip bursitis develops when the bursa sac that contains fluid that functions in the lubrication of the gliding movement of the hip is irritated, inflamed due to physical activities such as standing too long or overuse of hip joint. There are two types of hip bursitis, trochanteric bursitis and ischial bursitis. What are the causes? Hip injury is due to falling on the outside of the hip or banging the hip on any hard surface. You fall on your hip or you bang against a hard surface. Repetitive pressure on the hip. People who bike, stand, run and stand for a long period of time may be prone to hip bursitis. Athletes, particularly runners and sports that involve a lot of running are at risk of that condition. What are the symptoms? Hip pain. Hip pain, pain at the outside part of the hip is the most common symptom of hip bursitis. Pain is worse with repetitive activity. The pain may intensify, that means increase, after prolonged repetitive movements such as walking, jogging or stair climbing. Hip tenderness, very uh, painful to touch. People with hip bursitis have tenderness and pain over the side of the hip. Radiating pain, that means pain moves. Initially, the pain may be located primarily at the outside of the lower hip. Over the time, the pain may radiate down, move down towards the thigh or to the lower back, buttock or groin. Fever and hip swelling, redness and warmth. And again, what is the first tip? Pricer, protection, rest, ice application, compression, elevation, and referral. Then comes concussion. Concussion is a traumatic brain injury 
that changes the way your brain functions. This is very, very, uh, one of the uh, very serious uh, sports injury. Brain is a soft organ that is surrounded by spinal fluid and protection by hard skull. Normally, the fluid around the brain acts as a cushion that keeps the bra brain from banging to the skull. There is a fluid, uh, if you cut the brain, uh, cut the skull, there will be fluid. And after the fluid, the brain is there. So it is surrounded by fluid. Otherwise, the brain will bang against the skull walls. A concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury that is caused by a blow on the head. There's a terrible blow on the head or body. A fall or another injury that jerks or shakes the brain inside the skull. This injury is common while boxing. Although there are uh, there may be cuts or bruises on the head or face, there may be no visible signs of brain injury. What are the causes? Fighting, falling from a height, during car crashes or bike accidents. Symptoms? Loss of consciousness, confusion and disorientation. What you are talking, what you are seeing, you know, there is no orientation. Memory loss or amnesia, fatigue or tiredness, headache, visual problems, poor attention or concentration, sleep disturbances, dizziness, loss of uh, balance, irritability or emotional disturbances, feelings of depression, seizures, that means you're fainting, vomiting. What is the first aid? First aid is sit them down and give them something cold to hold against the injury. Something cold to hold against the injury. One can use cold compress or bag of ice or frozen peas wrapped in a cloth. Frozen peas wrapped in a cloth. Try any scalp. Treat any scalp wounds like bleed by applying direct pressure to the wound. Check the level of responsiveness using AVPU scale. Now what is AVPU? Alert, voice, pain, unresponsive. Alert. Are they alert? Do their eyes respond to the moving objects around them? You have to check. Voice. Do they respond to voice? Can they answer simple questions and respond to instructions? Pain. If they are not alert or they are not responding to voice, do they respond to pain? Try pinching them. Do they move or open their eyes? unresponsive do they respond to any question or a gentle shake if they pass the avpu test they are alert and responsive and their head injury is probably mild but one should wait with them until they recover if they do not pass the test they may be partially or fully unresponsive and their head injury could be severe so ambulance should be called and taken to the hospital if they lose responsiveness at any point, open their airway, mouth, check their breathing and prepare to treat someone who becomes unresponsive. While waiting for an ambulance, keep checking their breathing, pulse and any changes on the level of response. So it's a very serious injury. Now comes Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon attaches calf muscles with the hip, hip bone. It is the largest tendon in the body. It is useful to jump, walk, run and stand on the ball of the feet. That means the heel is just above the heel. Strenuous physical activities like running and jumping can cause painful inflammations of the Achilles heel tendon known as the Achilles tendonitis. Achilles tendon injury can be classified mainly into three types depending upon their severity of injury. Mild, grade 1 is mild, disruption of a few fibers, mild to moderate pain, tenderness, swelling, stiffness, expected to heal normally with conservative management. Grade 2 is moderate strain, disrupted of several fibers, moderate pain, swelling, difficulty in walking normally, expected to heal normally with conservative medicine. management. Grade 3, complete rupture, often characterized by a pop, immediate pain, inability to bear weight, typically requires surgery to repair. Causes. Exercising without proper warming up is one of the cause. Second cause is straining the calf muscles during repeated exercise or physical activity. Playing sports that require quick stops, changes of direction and pivoting. Sudden 
increase in physical activity without allowing the body to adjust to increase training wearing improper shoes and excessive foot pronation pronation means taking the foot like this you know like this this is while doing heel exercise and pronate means taking the foot like this symptom pain and stiffness along achilles tendon in the morning pain along the tendon or back of the heel that worsens with activity severe pain during any uh, during the day after exercising thickening of the tendon swelling of the back of the heel tight calf muscles limited range of motion while flexing the foot skin on heel overly warm to touch what is the first aid pricer now last injury is runner's knee runner's knee is another normal of patella femoral pain syndrome which translates in plain language to kneecap pain the kneecap is a sesamoid bone located with within the tendon that connect the quadriceps muscles to the lower leg bone or tibia it functions to improve the forces through the tendons as it crosses the joints and to protect the tendons from wear and tear that means wear and tear means overuse it occurs in athletes for nearly every sport and non athletes who stresses the knee in their daily activities it gets worse when the athletes run up the hill downhill or up and down the stairs what is the causes overuse of the knee injury to the kneecap misalignment of the kneecap complete or partial dislocation of the kneecap flat feet weak or tight thigh muscles inadequate stretching before exercise improper shoes improper training on uneven training surfaces what are the symptoms symptoms are pain is usually in front of the kneecap though it could be around or behind it pain may get worse while walking down stairs or downhill a popping sensation is sometimes audible can be heard in the worst case knee may swell what is the first aid first aid is pricer protection rest eyes application compression elevation and referral so with this we come to the end of chapter 7 that is safety in sports next day we will start with chapter 8 prevention of injuries thank you